Hey, today I'm talking about the 10 most hoarded yarns in my stash. <laughs> and it culminates with this baby, the one I love so much that I keep it in a jar on my desk. So let's get to that. That's number ten, the number one, but let's get to the others first, shall we? Okay, so I have in my stash some yarns that have been there a very long time and I have not had the heart to use them for whatever reason. Either because I only have one skein, which now I've written a one skein book, so you'd think that would solve the problem. <laughs> and it does. But I also have been saving these yarns because they're like too good to use. Like I don't, like I want the right project for it. You know what I mean? So some of these they don't even make anymore and that's partly why I haven't used it because once you use it, then it's gone. So here is the number 10 on my hoarded yarns in my stash. Juniper Moon Farms, Harriet Heathers, 100% baby alpaca. I don't know how long this has been in my stash. It's gorgeous. It's just begging to be used and I have not used it yet. I don't know why. I don't know what's holding me back. I love it. It's not because I don't love it that I haven't used it. It's been kept safely in plastic all this time. Ah, Juniper Moon, Harriet, Heather's 100% alpaca. Oh, I wish you could feel this. Anyway, as I go through these, I'm going to go look and see if I can put any of them. Oh, there's the oak. You see his little ears here? I'll look and see if I can find links to these. Um, some of them I suspect aren't even made anymore. Number nine, Tibetan Dream Bijou Spun Quality Yak Fibers. This is yak yarn. This is gorgeous and so expensive. I made um, a shrug with this for one of Margaret Hubert's books years ago, and it was like Catawba Bay Shrug or something. I'll see if I can find a photo for you. Anyway, I made it out of this and I had one hank left and oh my gosh, like it's so gorgeous, but I like don't know what I want to use it for it. It's really, really expensive. Um, let's see, 440 yards, hand wash, warm, dry, flat. And it's, um, it's a really, it's a pretty small yarn. It's probably a DK, maybe even a little thinner, but Bijou Spun Tibetan Dreams Yak Yarn. And when I say expensive, I think this is probably more than $50 for this hank. And that's why I've been hesitating to use it. <laughs> that's number nine in my hoarded yarn stash. All right. Um, let me, do I need to reorder some of these? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Look at this one. Ella Ray, love this. Ella Ray Lush Merino. I've had this a very long time. Love it. Haven't figured out what to do with it. It's super bulky, maybe a size six. I don't know the color um, color name. There's no number on it. It's pure hand painted roving merino, lush merino, Ella Ray. And because it's so chunky, like I don't, I just don't, I guess it just needs to be a scarf, a big lacy scarf, but there isn't that many yards to it. And so I'll have to, it's a super bulky six made in Uruguay for knitting fever. It's only 66 yards. So there's a challenge, friends. You guys ought to challenge me to come up with a 66 yard something with this. But isn't it gorgeous? Those colors really speak my name and it's a really big, super chunky gauge. So that has been hoarded in my stash for a very long time. Okay, so that's three. Seven more to go. This one... Downton Abbey. <laughs> Did you see the Premier Yarns several years ago came up with this Downton Abbey line of yarns and they had like um, the different characters names. And so this one is Branson, I think. Heather Green, Herb Green, and this style, oh, this one's Matthew. This one's the Matthew. So they had different lines of yarn named after the characters in the show. And I love the show. And then I really loved this yarn and I've got three balls of it. So now if I was having a nephew this summer for Summer of Babies, it'd make a great little sweater. It still would make a great little sweater for a girl as well. 
but maybe I need to make something for me and make my eyes look more green. Anyway, this is Matthew. It's a size four worsted. I do not think that they make it anymore. It's hand wash. It's got little nubs in it like a tweed yarn. And I have three balls of this treasure and I still haven't decided what to do with it because they don't make it anymore. Then I have to be give it the right project. So this is Matthew from the Downton Abbey collection that was part of Premier Yarns. So, so pretty. Theo's over here laying on my desk. He's just out of camera. Okay, the next yarn in my hoarded stash that I have not used for lots of different reasons. I have no idea where I got this. I do not know who sells it. I, I don't really know anything about it except the tag is LGF Surrey's Alpaca. Gorgeous blues. Again, you know I love blue. This is a very denim-y color blue. It's called Bachelor Button Blue. It is fingering weight, 50% Surrey alpaca, 30% wool, 15% nylon, 400 yards. Are you seeing a theme here? <laughs> Except for the Matthew yarn. I guess the Juniper Moon is a four. Um, you know, like they're either really thin or they're really thick and then they have less yardage or a ton of yardage and I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with them. So this one is uh, alpaca wool and nylon, but it's just a gorgeous color, don't you think? So I don't know what I need to do with this, but I only have one ball of it, and so it needs to be something. It probably needs to be something close to my face because it is so soft. Anyway, LGF Surrey's. I'll have to research that. I have no idea where I got this from. Okay. Well, back when I was editor of Crochet Magazine, like companies would send yarn for samples so that we could see it and then try and place it in the magazine. And sometimes we did, and sometimes it just didn't fit or whatever reason. And so I had a lot of leftover yarn. All right, this one, I think you should be able to still get. This is Plymouth Yarn, Linaza Yarn from Plymouth Yarn Company, 50% alpaca, 25% linen, 25% tencel. So this one is really soft. It is made in Peru. So the alpaca is the soft thing. Linen gives it a lot of strength. Tencel gives it a lot of elasticity and kind of um, bounce back. And it is 100 grams, 440 yards, so it is a small yarn. This one is called Robin Egg. Again, another blue. Another one that has sat in my yarn stash for a very long time because I just haven't decided what to do with it. Um, and I think that's just how it goes. You know, you, you play with the yarn that calls your name. You play with the yarn that has the right amount of yardage and, and the right amount of, if you have multiples of it, and, you know, it's gorgeous, I can't let it go, <laughs> but I haven't been able to use it yet either. Okay, so three more to go, well, th three more, and then the mystery 10th yarn. This one oh, is incredibly soft. This is Lydia Yarns, Lydia. I don't even know, I have to research it. I apologize, I don't know if they're still in business. This I, was at least three years ago that I bought this yarn. Um, Made in America, luxury yarn, opulence, fingering yarn. Again, a tiny yarn. I get really attracted to these tiny yarns and then I don't use them because I tend to use worsteds. So this is a 70% alpaca, 20% silk, 10% cashmere, fingering weight, 437 yards. This would make a beautiful shawl, a beautiful shawl. It's been in my stash for like four years or so, something like that. It's absolutely beautiful. Cashmere. I mean, it's cashmere. You can't give that su sucker up. This is the color Vamp, and I only have one, and I have to think of the right project for it to really let it do its justice, you know? And so I need to think about it. So it might need to sit on the shelf a little bit longer until I figure it out. <laughs> okay. Uh, more purple. This one is Quince and Company. This is gorgeous yarn. This is uh, Plum. I think it's Fl Frank's Plum is what it's called. It's Chickadee. The yarn is called Chickadee. The company is called Quince. So check out this company. I don't have any, I'm, I'm not getting a kickback from any of these. These are literally just things in my stash. Quince and Company though, one of my best pals, Rebecca Velasquez, has designed many things for them. So go check out her patterns under Quince and Company, Q-U-I-N-C-E. I'm not getting a kickback, it's just, she's a great designer. This is Chickadee Yarn. It is 181 yards. It is um, 
hand wash, cool, lay flat to dry, made in the USA, 100% American wool. Very pretty. I should be able to come up with something, don't you think? <laughs> this is really, you know, a, a bigger yardage, a bigger, it's probably a DK. It's really right up my alley, so I really need to take this one off the shelf and put it to good use instead of letting it sit lonely. Maybe I should let all these sit together in their plastic so that they can all be, I wouldn't call them misfit toys because they're all so gorgeous. They're all perfect. It's just, they're just too perfect to use right now until I find the right project. Okay, is that it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is number nine. Again, Another one I've had for years. I have several balls of this. This is Plymouth Yarn Company. This is Baby Alpaca DK. It's so incredibly soft, so incredibly squishy that I have a few of these. I think I have four or five of these. It's a beautiful kind of lipstick, pink, corally color. And I just don't know what I want to do with it yet. It's color 6010. I don't know if they still make it. They should because it's amazingly soft and it's from Plymouth Yarn Company so I'll research and see if um, I can find a link to this in the description below. They also had a really amazing um, middle blue color and they had a really beautiful like lavender color that I liked and they had a white <laughs> and a lot of colors. Anyway the pink is what I have left and I have like three or four balls and I just don't know what to do with it yet but I'm never going to give it up. <laughs> I am never giving it away. It's been in my stash. It's made it through all the cuts of donations and giveaways, and I just haven't haven't been able to part with it yet. So here's the number nine, or the I guess number two, if you're counting backwards, the number two most uh, hoarded yarn in my stash. Now, the one who, should I give you a sneak peek of Theo there sitting on my table? <laughs> The number one yarn, the yarn that is so precious that it sits in a jar on my desk mocking me. <laughs> it's almost like a pet. It's been around so long. Um, but I love it and I just haven't decided what to do with it. <laughs> and I thought it looked so pretty in this jar. <laughs> so that's where it has been sitting. Anyway, as a decoration on my desk. But it's time I really pull this baby out, huh? <laughs> okay, it is... Anzula. I know they are still in, in business. Hanzula dye, hand dyed yarns. This one's called Nebula. This yarn. It is 84% superwash merino, 16% sparkling nylon. Can you see some of those sparkles? And this color is called Prudence. It's about 400 yards and um, it's machine wash cold, gentle cycle, hand wash instructions are included. It is a fine yarn. It says um, seven and a half stitches for one inch in knit. So it is a, a tiny yarn, but can you see the speckles on there? You can see why this is one of my favorite yarns, but I've not come up with the most perfect project for it yet. And so it has sat and waited its turn on my desk in my jar, in my specimen jar, <laughs> on my desk for quite a while. But Anzula is the last yarn in my hoarded stash. <laughs> Check out the links in the description below. Please uh, give this video a thumbs up and li hit like and turn on the notifications if you want more quality content like going through my closet. Thank you so much. I will see you next time.